I'm about to go over all of the information on the official Apex Legends website about the new system override collection event, which is going to be starting on March 3rd. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm going to talk to you first about how heirlooms are going to be different. And then I'm going to be talking to you about the free items which you can get during this event and how to get them. But first, let's jump right into the heirlooms. And I'm pretty bummed about this, honestly, because I just recently got an heirloom for a legend I don't even play. And I could have used this new method to pick the kunai for Wraith, but let's talk about how it's different now now and what it was like previously so originally you just had a very low chance of getting an heirloom from every apex pack with 500 being the maximum amount of packs you could open in between heirlooms and the heirloom set would be randomly picked for you but now when you get an heirloom instead of everything popping up and you getting a random one you're just going to receive a shard which you can spend on the heirloom of your choice i'm just going to go ahead and read the official statement though from the website which says we're changing up the heirloom system to make it easier for you to acquire the heirloom you want Instead of an entire heirloom set dropping at once, you'll now receive heirloom shards. You can use those shards to pick the exact heirloom set that you'd like. The shards will have the same drop rate as the previous system, so that after 500 packs, you will have enough heirloom shards to obtain an heirloom set from the heirloom shop. And don't worry, your existing progress towards the 500 Apex packs will carry over with the Switch. Remember that once a player owns all the heirloom sets, that player will not be eligible to receive more shards until the heirloom sets are are added to the game which means that never again will you spend five hundred dollars on an heirloom and get bloodhounds when you wanted wraiths this has been a long awaited change people have been asking for this for almost a year now ever since that second heirloom was added with bloodhounds during the first octane event now i'm not entirely sure what these shards are going to look like but as soon as i know or as soon as i see a video i will post it either on twitter or i'll make a whole video about it depending on how interesting it is but with that out of the way let's talk about about how to get these free items. So I'm gonna show a graphic up on screen and let's talk about the XP progression of this event and how you can get the items which I'm talking about. You'll notice it looks very similar to the Grand Soiree event XP graphic and it's gonna function in a very similar way. So each day you are gonna receive challenges having to do with the limited time mode and as you complete those challenges, you will get items. So the first thing that you're gonna get is that green charm down there on the bottom left at 500 XP. Then at 1,000, you're gonna receive that free revenant skin at 2,000 the peacekeeper skin and then at 5,000 a charm of a floppy disk and a wingman skin now in between there you'll see you get all different kinds of badges xp boosts loading screen frames and stat trackers so that's all interesting stuff if you notice on the top there are blacked out letters and if you read them through it says don't believe hammond so i'm not really sure what that means but i'm sure r slash apex lore is racking their brains out right now trying to figure it out now another thing that i want to quickly talk about is the evo shield and just the fact that it's only going to be in the deja loot game mode and it's because the devs are trying to test it out and to see if we like it so they want our feedback on reddit i would also love to hear your feedback not just about the evo shield and if you don't know what that is you can take a look at my previous video which i'll have linked in the top right hand corner i personally already don't like the idea of it but maybe it's less overpowered than i think so i'm excited to get into the game and to use it all in all i think this event is going to be a lot of fun but mostly just because i love skins so as always if you have any questions or if you just want to chat i'll be down in the comments i respond to comments almost immediately i'll be back at you guys again tomorrow with another video but until then take it easy